Hey guys, it's Scrap Diva 29 and I'm here today to do a review of the Mink Machine. Um, today is the first day that I actually had a chance to open it up and start to play with it. And I wanted to share with you my results and what I thought about it. Um, the machine that I got was the larger one. Um, I didn't realize before I purchased this that there was a mini. A mink machine. If I did real, if I knew that there was the mini, I probably would have purchased the mini because I don't really think I need this big machine. But it's okay. Um, let me start off by sharing with you. Um, it comes with obviously this lamp, this mink machine, and then it comes with a set of instructions, and they give you a piece of foil and um, a couple of tags to start off with so that's what comes in the kit and it's very simple to use it heats up very fast so I do like that um, I have um, foiled up some projects so I just wanted to share what I've done so far um, these are the Heidi Swap um, embellishments that I had purchased uh, from Joann's they were on clearance a while back and here are a few that I've already have done this one says I love you and it came out really nice. This was actually using um, the Deco Foil brand, which I also got on clearance at Michael's, oh, the Hobby Lobby, um, a while back. So it, there's, it, it came out beautiful. I, I like the result. Now, I want to say I did have to play with it, and I ended up using setting four instead of setting three. On the packages, uh, when you buy them, it tells you what setting it should go on, and this one says three, but I ended up having better results on four. So you're going to have to play with it and see what works best for you. I was finding that four worked a little bit better, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, but that was that one. This is a little glassine bag, and it says a little something, and that's a pretty pink, and that came out really nice. There was only one little tiny spot on the M that didn't um, color, but everything else did. So it's very shimmery and very pretty. Now I did a couple of cards. This is the first one. As you can see, it didn't come out so well for whatever reason. This was using the deco foil on setting three. I'm not know if it needed to be hotter. So I'm thinking probably setting four probably would have been a better option. Um, for whatever reason that one didn't come out so well but it's still pretty and I could still use the card this thank you is a die cut that I die cut on my own let me get something so you can see it there you go and that came out really pretty and what I did was I printed off a piece of toner paper um, I do have a laser uh, inkjet printer I think that's what it's called and um, printed off one to give it a go and that's the way it came out and I used deco foil because all I had was the one little strip of Heidi Swap foil um, that came with the kit so I just used some of the foil that I already had so that came out lovely I'm really happy with that here's another one of the cards I got a card set and um, this was using the Heidi Swap foil and the difference between the Heidi Swap foil and the deco foil is the thickness you can see this one is a lot thicker and this one is a lot more flimsier. You see what I'm saying? Um, I'm not sure which one's better quality. I think they're equal, but there is a difference with the, the thickness of it. So that foiled up beautifully. There was only one little spot that didn't foil and I don't know why. I think I have to play with this a little bit more. And again, this was on setting three. So I think I will have better results on setting four. And this card, that, that came out lovely as well. And there's just like two little tiny parts that didn't get foiled, but other than that, it came out very nice. So I'm really happy with, with what I've um, foiled up so far. And here's another little card. You can use these as embellishments, and I thought that was really pretty. And this is using that deco foil in this really pretty pink color. Isn't that pretty? Uh, what else do I have to share? I think that's it. Oh, I have this one. This one was a die cut. I wanted to try a die cut. Um, it came out pretty pretty nice for the most part. There's just a few little speckles of uh, ink that you see. And this is one that I die cut using the ink 
toner paper. Um, again, if I, I think if I would have went uh, to a higher setting, it would have foiled it perfectly. And I'm going to play with it a little bit more and let you guys know. Um, I went ahead and put some little embellishments into the sleeve just to show you um, and run through the laminator one time so that you guys can see what it looks like as I do it. It is on setting four and I am using the deco pink foil. It's really pretty foil. And I see like a little piece of glitter. Oh, that's on the inside. I don't know. I've got glitter all over my desk. I saw it on the, I see it on the sleeve. Hopefully it's won't mess with the image. The thing that I am noticing is that it does take a little while to run through because the machine is so big. It's like a 12 by 12 sheet of laminating paper or sleeve that has to go through the machine. So if you had the smaller one, I think it'd run a lot quicker. Um, so that's my only, the only downfall, I think. I don't know how many large projects I would be foiling. I think the most of the stuff that I'd be doing would be fairly small, so I think the mini would suffice. That's just my opinion. This is slowly coming out, you guys, slowly. Here's a few more. This is a little bag that I did, and that's two different colors. Here's a little party of, and it's just an embellishment that I did, and that's in pink. And those came out really nice. This one's a me and you, and I did that in gold. And that was using the Heidi Swap gold foil paper. Very pretty. And there's another one. And that was using the pink deco. There was only a couple little spots that didn't get it completely, but for the most part, it did. It's very pretty. All right, guys, let's take a look at this. Now, what I suggest when you pull it out of the machine is to just kind of run your fingers over it, over the images. And just make sure you press it down. I think that helps with making sure that it's completely covered before you take it off. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to open this up and peel it back and hope that we have some good results. Looking good. I'm trying to do it slowly. That's a number. Okay, so let's take out my little piece of paper. These came out pretty good. As far as I can see, they look really nice. There are, again, a couple of little spots that I'm noticing, and this is on setting four, and this is me pushing down, trying to make sure all the foil is on the, the toner part, I guess. I like, like a boss, that came out really, really, really good. That one came out perfect. So all of them came out pretty good. There's a few that just have like one or two little black spots, and I don't know why it's not doing it completely. So, hmm, I'm gonna keep playing with it, you guys, but is, for the most part, I, I'm really liking the results. It looks really pretty, and I can't wait to make some more projects using the foil um, process. All right, guys, um, if you have any suggestions or comments, or if you own the machine and you have a tip for me, please let me know, I'd really appreciate it. And I hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll chat with you soon, bye.